Um, one thing I noticed is it did not tell you to put the Bowden tube um, in from the flying extruder. So that's definitely something that we're going to have to add. Okay. So let's move on to wiring. Okay. So this is definitely going to take a lot of wire tucking, which is going to kind of suck, honestly. Like this wire here, it's supposed to go to the heat bed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it over, move it to the right, go through here, if I can. Oh geez, I can, but I have to unscrew that. So right now what I'm doing is I'm removing my end stop over here so I can move it out of the way to get this wire to go through this hole first, which is a TH2 wire. Get that to sit like this, and we're going to hide it in here and have that go to the bed so it's going to be nice and hidden. This guy here is going to go back and it should fit perfectly nice and neat again. And one thing I did notice with these optical end stops is that we have to make sure that they sit perfectly in between where the Allen wrench or the Allen set screw is going to be. So sorry if I'm in your way, I'm just trying to reset these. Alright, so we have one really long cable hider, or how don't you call that? Okay. Now the, we have to do these two actually first. So it has a four prong that's going to go from control box to the power supply. So we're going to unscrew this. Just wait till the index pins line up. Perfect. And then we're going to install that on there. Okay. And then this one here is going to go to the four pin on. I really don't like how this sits. And go through the center. So a little notch, a wiring notch down here. Okay, I like that. Now this one here, it's a different story. This one has to go all the way to the heat bed wiring. So I might have put my heat bed on the wrong side. I'm gonna have to rotate that. So if I have any excess wiring going on, it's gonna bug the crud out of me. So let me do a quick rundown of what I did here. This is the four prong, and this is the two prong. This, this two prong here is gonna end up meeting to the heat bed wire down there. So I'm gonna have to rotate this heat bed wire so that way I can hide it. Okay guys, so um, I had a break because it took like an extra half hour just wire tucking everything. All this is going to get kind of put together in its own little tubing, make it look nice and clean. All the hot end wires are plugged in, did the end stops, uh, I did the bed, bed wiring, goes up the, the I mean the extrude kind of hides back there, and I got this wiring. So I'm actually going to take um, a lot of this wiring and kind of either tape it or put it in that black tubing. But anyway, that's what took so long. And now I am going to plug it in and see if it turns on. Well, and one thing else we have to do is put this spool holder on there. So let's do that. Okay, so I think it's going to be time to turn this puppy on. Here's the moment of truth. Okay, it's on. Ready to print. Be able to touch. So there's your LCD. I'm just going to follow the manual now. So, first power on and calibrate. We're going to go to setup. Connect. Oh, at 15, 20, return. Okay, and we're gonna calibrate. What have we got here? It's printing. So, last night I got really tired. 
<clears throat> I didn't finish filming the video, but there was literally maybe two minutes left <clears throat> to do. So outside of the extra like 30 minutes I spent cleaning up the wires and stuff, uh, you pretty much just have to put a Bowden tube or a PTFE tube from, from in here to the Titan extruder. That was all I did. You run your filament into it, okay, and then put it on the roll. And then what you have to do is those two SD cards that were included, one, the little micro SD goes right here where it says T-Flash, you have to enter it in there, and then the SD card you put in here. And uh, when you first get your uh, thing going, oh wait, wait, okay, I guess I have to wait until this is done. You'll see um, when you turn it on, it'll automatically start flashing because you have the T-Flash card in there up top. And once it's done, you're pretty much set. You just hit um, set up and you set the, um, the bode rate to, I think it's 115,000. And then from there, you can just start printing. You just put stuff on the SD card and then throw it on there. There is a Wi-Fi feature on here. I'm not sure how to get that to work, but we'll figure it out another time. But other, basically that's it. I've just been putting, um, I just been putting S, uh, little um, SD card files from my computer, saving them to SD, and then putting them in there and printing them. So right now I'm printing a fingerboard mold because the skate shop wants me to make them fingerboards. And last night for my first test print, I printed this. It's a Darth Maul lightsaber that I designed. It came out amazing. Look, it even has all this stuff. So this thing prints amazing. And that's it, guys. That's literally the whole build. So if I miss anything, I'll go ahead and cover it. If you have any questions or you notice that I forgot something, please leave it in the comments below. And um, if you can, give it a like. I'll provide a ton more videos on the Delta. Um, anything that you guys need or ask, I'll put it up. Um, and that's about it. So enjoy your kit. Have fun with the build. And happy printing. Have a good one, guys.